Hello and welcome back to Scrivener for iOS. In this video we're going to cover how to use Dropbox to sync projects between the desktop version of Scrivener and the iOS app. I'm going to demonstrate sync on the iPad app and Scrivener for Mac, but don't worry, this works the same way on the iPhone and we'll be sure to cover any small differences for those of you using Scrivener for Windows. To start with, we need to set up Dropbox sync on the iOS device. Tap the sync icon and when the menu pops up, tap link Dropbox. If you don't have the Dropbox app installed, Scrivener will ask you to enter your Dropbox login details. If you do have the Dropbox app, it will sign you in automatically and ask for permission to share your Dropbox with the Scrivener app. Once this stage is complete, you'll be taken back to Scrivener and asked to choose a Dropbox sync folder. You have two options here. Scrivener can create a new folder in your Dropbox, or you can choose an existing folder by tapping Other. So, for example, if I'm already storing my projects in this fiction subfolder here, I can nominate this folder to use it for sync. For the purposes of this video though, we're going to choose the first option and ask Scrivener to create a new folder in my Dropbox located at Dropbox slash apps slash Scrivener. I'll tap done in the top right and the iOS app is now linked to that folder. You'll notice a Dropbox section appears in the sidebar, but right now it's empty because that folder doesn't contain any projects yet. If you need to change your sync folder at any time, return to the projects screen here and tap edit, then tap the settings cog, then Dropbox settings, and you'll be asked to choose a folder again. But it's recommended that you choose one folder and stick to it to avoid any confusion later. Now our iOS device is ready to receive projects from Dropbox. So let's load up Scrivener for Mac. I've been working on a collection of short stories which I want to share between iOS and Mac so I can write on the go using my iPad, then come back to the same project on my MacBook when I'm at home. In order to do this, I need to move this project to my Dropbox sync folder. At this point, it's worth noting that Scrivener has a file sync menu, and you might assume that these options are what you would use to move your project to Dropbox. Well, actually, they aren't. The option to sync with an external folder has been around since before Scrivener for iOS was developed, and it's intended for sharing your project files with other applications, but not to sync with Scrivener on other devices. You can't use this feature to sync your projects with Scrivener for iOS. It won't work that way. Instead, we first need to locate the project on your computer's hard drive, because, as I mentioned, we're going to move it into the new Dropbox folder. If you aren't sure where you stored your project, there are some easy ways to find it. On a Mac, if the project is open in Scrivener, you can hold down Control and click on the project title at the top of the window, so the file path for your project will be displayed here, and you can open the containing folder by clicking on it, like so. Unfortunately, this is a feature built into Mac OS, so Windows users can't do this. Instead, you'll need to open Windows Explorer, or File Explorer, and perform a search for folders ending in .scriv. When you're doing this, you might see a few files with this icon and a .scrivx file extension. You might even be using these to launch your Scrivener projects, but these are only part of your project and should not be moved on their own. Remember, you're looking for folders ending in .scriv. Once you've located the project, if it's still open in Scrivener, close it before you move it. Moving a project while it's still open is not a good idea, as this could potentially cause problems for your project. Now open a new Finder or File Explorer window and navigate to the Dropbox folder you linked to your iOS device earlier. Drag your .scriv project, or on Windows, the .scriv folder, into your Dropbox sync folder. Notice that the Dropbox icon, which you'll find in the menu bar if you're on a Mac, or the system tray if you're using Windows, now has a sync in progress symbol, indicating the project is being uploaded to Dropbox. It's important to be patient here and make sure this process is complete before you close down your computer or try to access your project on iOS, otherwise the project won't sync properly and you can run into issues. When it's done, the symbol will disappear on a Mac or turn into a green tick if you're using Windows. Now we'll return to iOS. The Dropbox section is still blank, but now if we tap Sync, the project we just uploaded to Dropbox will now download to this device. Once a project is downloaded to your iOS device, you won't need an internet connection to work on it. Disable Wi-Fi or turn on airplane mode if you need to. Internet access is only required when you want to sync your project back to Dropbox. That's all the setup you'll need. The project can now be worked on in either version of Scrivener and synced between the two. To demonstrate, let's make a few changes to this project in iOS. I'll add a new document to my draft and jot down a few ideas for my next short story. Once I'm done with this, you'll notice a blue icon appears on the project screen, reminding me that changes have been made and it needs to sync the document with Dropbox again. Tap Sync 
and the changes will be uploaded to Dropbox. By the way, if you prefer sync to happen automatically, there is an option for that. Go into your settings app, locate Scrivener, open the syncing and sharing settings, and you'll have the option to sync projects when you close them, basically each time you return to the projects screen. You can set this to only happen when you're linked to Wi-Fi, which might be recommended if you're working with larger projects. Back on the MacBook, Dropbox is now syncing the changes I just made. Once again, we need to make sure Dropbox has synced the project completely before we open it in Scrivener. If it's done, we can find the project in the Dropbox folder and launch it from there. Alternatively, launch Scrivener, go to File, Open, and then locate the project in the Dropbox folder and open it that way. Now I'm going to make some edits in the desktop version of the project, but this time I'll leave the project open, because one of the great things about Scrivener for iOS is that it allows you to open synced projects simultaneously with the desktop version. While I'm here, I'll also create a new project from a fiction template, and when asked where I want to save it, I'll put it directly in the Dropbox folder where I can share it with my iOS devices. Once again, it's important to wait for the all clear from your Dropbox icon in the menu bar or the system tray. Returning to iOS, if we launch the app now, it will check the servers and show a yellow icon against the project I just edited, indicating that we need to download some changes. This won't happen if the app was still open in the background. It needs to be closed and freshly launched for this icon to show up, but you can always just sync changes if you know you've made them. You'll notice that it doesn't notify me of the project I created and saved to the Dropbox folder just now, because it hasn't been downloaded to this device before. So let's tap Sync. The short story project will sync the changes I made, and the new project will download as well. Let's load up the new project and make some changes here. We could tap the sync icon in the editor view to save the changes to Dropbox, but since I turned on automatic sync earlier, I can just return to the project screen and Dropbox will sync automatically. Now that's done, I can return to the MacBook and wait for Dropbox to finish syncing. Remember how we left Scrivener open? If I've made changes to a project which was open in the background, bringing it to the front will prompt me that changes have been made and the project needs to update. If it was left open in the foreground, it may not do that, but you can use the mobile sync icon in the toolbar or go to File, Sync with mobile devices to update the project. Now the project will reload and you'll see all your changes there. So that's how you can sync projects between the iOS and desktop versions of Scrivener. Remember you can always return to this video guide or our knowledge base page if you need a quick reference for how to set up iOS sync in future. Thanks for watching and happy writing.